Hello everyone. So today we are going to talk about Jamu al Muannas al Salim, which is feminine plurality. As we have said before, al Salim means whole, and that's because um, the word um, don't change at all or doesn't change at all. Um, but rather we add um, some letters to it. So before we start, let's recap what, um, how to tell that the noun is uh, feminine or muannas. Um, so muannas or feminine. We will notice that the noun ends by at and marbuta or uh, the closed ta. Or al alif al maqsura, which is written like this, or it ends with um, alif hamza. For example, here we have shajara. This word is muannas um, or feminine because it ends in a ta marbuta. Um, here, zikra. This word is um, anas or feminine because it ends in or with um, alif maqsura. Sahara. This word is anas because it ends with alif hamza. So how to um, form the plural from this singular uh, nouns? For shajara. You write shajar, remove the ta and add alif ta. But this uh, the opened ta. Okay, so it becomes shajarat. Here for zikra, it's zikrayat. Um, change the alif al maqsura into ya and then add the alif ta like in shajarat for sahara you remove the hamza and add wow and then alif ta let's have more examples here for example here hamama Oh yeah, shajara means tree, zikra means memory, sahara means desert, desert the land, okay, so hamama means dove, it will become, we remove the ta, and then add alif ta, it becomes hamamat, we have here, this word is a bit hard, but anyway. Mustashfa. Mustashfa means hospital. Mustashfa. You turn the al alif al maqsura into ya. And then add the alif ta, mustashfayat, which means hospitals. Uh, hasna. Hasna means a beautiful woman. Um, so we write has. Okay. This is sa, a seen, and this is noon. Alif, the hamza will remove it. And or we turn it into wall, then add alifta hasna wet. Okay, so it's a bit challenging more than jamul muzakkar salim or the masculine plurality because um, the feminine words um, are variable, like we have um, various signs for a word to tell it's a feminine. So that's why it's a bit harder. 
Also, we use um, the feminine uh, plurals for words that describe women only. So, for example, Murda. Murda. Murda means a breastfeeder or a breastfeeding woman. So, it's basically only an adjective for women, so we just do the usual add alif ta at the end. So, murdiat. Uh, another example here, walud. Walud. Walud means the woman who gives birth a lot or many times. So, it's walu that you just add alif ta okay um so yeah that was the lesson is very very easy you can ask him is it like the masculine uh, plurality does uh, the these words change if it is in the uh, subject or in the object position no the letters doesn't change but what it change is um, how you pronounce it so for example in the subject position you would say waludatu or waludatun okay while in the object you would say waludati or waludatin okay so it's how you pronounce it and not how uh, it's written i hope that was a bit easy uh, to study i know it's uh, more challenging than jamal muzakkar salam and i really suggest you whenever you learn a new word to ask yourself is it feminine or is it masculine and what is its plural I learn all this information about uh, the noun for once and all, okay? So, I hope um, that was easy and understandable. And see you later.